Last night, I posted a video about ex-Muslims being banned from speaking over concerns that their speech might be too provocative following the Christchurch mosque attacks. This morning, I opened my laptop and found out that I, too, am being banned. I've been suspended by Twitter for condemning violence. Here's the message I got. We've temporarily limited some of your account features. What happened? We have determined that this account violated the Twitter rules. As a result, we've temporarily limited some of your account features. While in this state, you can still browse Twitter, but you're limited to only sending direct messages to your followers. No tweets, retweets, follows, or likes. Learn more. Your account will be restored to full functionality in 12 hours and zero minutes. You can start your countdown and continue to Twitter once you verify your phone number, remove tweets that violate our rules. If you think we've made a mistake, you can appeal the violation. Now, in theory, this is only a 12-hour ban, but the 12-hour countdown starts when you admit that you were wrong and remove the post that violated the rules. If I had actually violated any rules, I would gladly correct my mistake, but since I didn't come within a thousand miles of violating any actual rules, Twitter can saw my head off. I'm not taking anything down, which means I'm permanently banned. But let's see the tweet for which I've been banned. The tweet reads, Here are my initial thoughts on the Christchurch Mosque Massacre. More to follow in tonight's live streams. So, either it's now a violation of Twitter's policies to say that I have some thoughts about the Christchurch Mosque Massacre, or it's the video I linked to that somehow violates Twitter's rules. If it's the former, then thousands of accounts should now be banned because lots of people shared their thoughts about the New Zealand mosque shootings. If it's the latter, then my video must qualify as hate speech. You can watch the video for yourself. It's titled, I Predicted the Christchurch Mosque Massacre. The video has about 275,000 views. If it contains hate speech, isn't it odd that it hasn't been banned by YouTube? Those of you who've watched the video know that it condemns violence. I pointed out that I've been warning people for years that shutting down open discussion about sensitive issues is going to lead to violence. If you have millions of people who are concerned about some issue, and you tell them that they're not allowed to talk about it, most of them are going to remain peaceful. But some of them are going to decide to take matters into their own hands. Anders Breivik specifically said in his manifesto that he decided to kill because he wasn't allowed to speak. As for people who become convinced that violence is the way to get what they want, I had a clip of me addressing them directly in my video. I called them delusional nutjobs and referred to their violent ideologies as idiotic, and I said that even if they have no problem with mass murder, Killing still isn't going to get them what they want because there are two main possibilities. One, if they want large-scale killing, i.e. millions of people, they're going to have to get governments and the media on their side, and that's not going to happen. Two, if they try to do the killing themselves, the killing will only backfire. Either way, the killing won't work. Here's the clip. If you really believe that slaughtering Muslims is the way forward, what color is the sky in your world if you think that Western governments are going to climb on board your crazy train? We've got jihadis on one side saying, kill the infidels, they're a threat to our way of life. And we've got you on the other side saying, kill the Muslims, they're a threat to our way of life. Perhaps you haven't noticed, but Western governments and the education system and the entertainment industry and the media are in love with all things Islamic. You, the guy typing nuke Mecca in the comments section of YouTube, sound like a complete lunatic to them. So unless you've been secretly developing some awesome mind control device that can convince politicians and reporters to completely reverse their positions, you're delusional if you think that your comments section rants are going to become public policy. But maybe you're not counting on the government at all. Maybe you're counting on the nut job you see in the mirror every morning. 
maybe you're already typing, I don't need anyone else. I'll just kill them all myself. <laughs> Newsflash. Going on a killing spree yourself is even dumber than counting on the government to do it for you. What could you possibly hope to accomplish with your killing spree? Governments around the world are pushing for new laws that block hate speech against Islam. If you start killing Muslims, guess whose crime is going to be Exhibit A for every politician trying to protect Islam from criticism? Yours, genius. Nothing you could do in life would help the global jihad more than violently attacking Muslims. Beyond that, whatever idiotic ideology is rolling around in that head of yours, politicians and the media will lump your views together with people who condemn violence. Politicians and the media won't say, oh, there's some violent loser who attacked a bunch of Muslims, unlike most critics of Islam who condemn violence and criticize Islam peacefully. Instead, they'll say, see, this is what people who criticize Islam really want. So, what's the message of the video? A killing spree isn't going to get you what you want, so it's stupid to go on a killing spree. But as long as people are being silenced and deplatformed, some of them are going to turn to violence, so we'd better keep the lines of communication open. Twitter's response? We have to ban you for condemning violence and for defending free speech. Well, Twitter, ban away. Your platform sucks anyway. That's why it's slowly dying. As for you power-tripping morons on the trust and safety team, you pathetic losers are banning yourselves out of a job because you're banning so many people that they're glad to leave your already dying platform in droves. Since you'll soon be out of a job, I suggest you learn to code. For everyone else who's watching this, be sure to share it on Twitter.